So I woke up this morning and I discovered we have a whole brand new, totally awesome tool that's rolling out inside of Facebook pages. It is going to be an absolute game changer when it comes to organic content. We can now test, split test, post using organic in our audience. So we can see what our audience likes before we throw it out to the whole feed. I love this. Join me as I go into Creator Studio. So guys, this is Creator Studio. If you're wondering how do you get to Creator Studio, you go from your, your Facebook into your page, and from your page, you go to the left sidebar to Creator Studio, and that brings you right here. When you're here, you've got something really stinking awesome. Go to create posts, clip, go on down to create post tests. In this option, you can create tests with your posts. Okay, so here you go, guys. One of my pages is Quirky Mama. I sold this business, so it's no longer mine but I'm still on there as an admin and I'm going to promote one of the books that I've written um, with that business. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to upload two different videos. So I'm uploading one video right now. You can see there it is uploading and I'm going to go and grab a second video. Okay. I just clicked add new and then I'm going to add the second video here. Okay. So we've got two different experiment videos that are uploading. Now what I need is the link that I'm going to share. And I need to write my description. There's my book, guys. And I'm going to go on here. I'm going to grab the text for it. We are going to create a post, organic post, promoting this book right here. So I'm going back into Creator Studio. Here it is. I need to, one, create a title. Okay. And then I'm going to describe the video. And grabbing the link. Okay. So notice guys, I wrote the description and I'm copying the same description in each place because what I want to do is I want to test which video is going to get the best results for my biz, for my audience in um, selling my book. So I'm going to post these two videos and see which video does the best. So I'm split testing the video. Generally, whenever you're doing a split test, you only want to test one element, either video, title, description. You don't want to test all three. But I do want these, these titles to reflect what this kid science experiment is. Kids, so I'm going to say wowzer, super cool. Okay, there we go. I've got that on there. And we've got the same title, the same description on each one of these. And what we don't, what we've changed though is the video. Notice guys, I can even do three tests. I suggest that you never do more than three because it, the data can become like, it's hard when you have a lot of tests, your brain is hard to see which one's the absolute winner. Now, the thing is, if you have a small audience, say your audience is under 50,000, I would not want you to do more than two, okay? When your audience is like Quirky Mama and it's in the millions, you could definitely do three because Facebook is going to send it out to those people. So I can pick another one if I want to, but I think I'm gonna skip for today, so we'll just do two. Okay, so now I've got these. Now I wanna have a test description um, so I know where I can find it. Kids, science videos, videos. Okay. And to promote the book and, and I'm going to test and demonstration. I'm going to do a 30 minute. Now you can have the test run in just 10 minutes so you can see what the answers are. I'm going to choose to do 30 minutes. I'm going to add a custom thumbnail here and this one's kinetic. No, this is the baking soda, right? Baking soda. And we'll do this image then as that one. And okay, so I've got them. I added thumbnails now and I'm ready to publish the test. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, publish this test. And yes, we can confirm and publish. That's it. Guys, this is the first time I've made a test. We're going to come back in a few minutes here and we're going to see what the results of this test are. And I'll, I'll let you guys know. 
So here's what's really cool about what you just saw. When you can split test, you can learn quickly what your audience wants to see so you're able to give them more of that content. Guys, this is extremely useful, especially if you have a larger audience. If you have a small audience, the likelihood of that test being productive is low. If you only have 200 fans, well, the likelihood of you maybe getting five of the fans that are the wrong person, mm, it's not a solid test. I would strongly suggest waiting to use this feature until you have over 4,000 fans minimum and even more into the 10,000 plus range. Why? You'll have a big enough test size of your audience to get the results that you're looking for. If you love this video and you love learning Facebook hacks like this, even first thing in the morning, guys, leave me a comment, subscribe. You know I'm here for you. Tell me what other types of tutorial videos you're looking for. We love to help you grow your audience so you can grow your business and make a difference in the world with your products. I can't wait to see you in the next lesson. See you guys.